Matthew Doyle from Scaleform here again, welcoming you back to Getting Started with Click Video Tutorial 2. Step 3 Skinning the Main Menu. Once we've completed Step 3, the main menu, fully skinned, will look something like this. To get started, select Frame 1 of the Scene Layer. Double click on the button on the stage to enter its timeline. Before proceeding, let's look at how the button is set up in Photoshop. Open Photoshop and load the file menubutton.psd located in the resources slash click slash tutorial slash art assets directory. The button is composed of three layers. The layer order is important. The topmost layer will be the last keyframe in Flash and the bottommost layer will be the first keyframe imported into Flash. This is true for all PSD graphics imported into Flash this way. The top layer of this graphic is labeled down and represents the button when it is being clicked on. Next comes the over layer which represents the button when the mouse is over it. The last layer is the up layer which represents the button in its normal state. Return to Flash. Select File in the top menu and choose Import, Import to Stage. Browse to and double click the file menubutton.psd to import it. Take note that the three layers are shown in the same order they are in Photoshop. Click on each layer, then enable the Create Movie Clip for this layer checkbox for each. The background layer should not be checked. Ensure the Convert Layers to drop-down is set to keyframes. Rename the new layer at the top of the timeline to Button. The first keyframe is already in position. The second and third keyframes, however, need to be moved to their proper locations on the timeline. Click on the second keyframe and drag it into position. It should be directly above the Over keyframe on the Labels layer. Click on the third keyframe and drag it into position as well. It should be directly above the down keyframe on the labels layer. Select the two empty frames that were left behind and hanging out past the end of the button component's frames by shift clicking them. Right click while over the selected frames and choose remove frames to delete them. Right click on the top layer timeline directly above the disabled keyframe on the labels layer. Choose insert keyframe. Click on the button graphic on the stage to select it for editing. In the Properties panel, scroll down to Color Effect. Set the drop-down to Alpha and choose an Alpha of 50% using the slider. Select the bottom button layer and delete it by pressing the trash can icon. Click on the top layer and drag it to the bottom of the layer stack. It's a good idea to lock this layer now. Move the playhead to frame 1 on the timeline. Unlock the text field layer and select the text field on the stage. In the Properties panel, change the font type, size, and color under the character rollout. At this point, it's a good idea to adjust the size of the text field to fit the button. Simply click on one of the little blue squares on the right side of the border of the text field and drag it to the right until the text field is about the same width as the button. In the paragraph rollout, set the format so the text is centered in the text field. Next, make any alignment adjustments you need to make so the text is nicely centered over the button graphic. With the text field selected, copy it by pressing Ctrl and C. Select the disabled keyframe of the text field and press Delete. Then press Ctrl Shift V to paste the text field from frame 1 exactly in the same spot at the disabled keyframe. Select the text field on the stage again. Change the color to a medium gray in the character rollout of the Properties panel. Press Scene 1 to return to the main timeline. Center the button on the screen.
Select the main menu text field. Alter its font type, size, and color in the Properties panel under the Character Rollout. Adjust the text field size as necessary and drag it into position. This concludes Step 3. Save your progress and test the movie using the Scaleform Launcher panel.